Most content types in the digital commons environment have a text editor in the body field. We also call this the WYSIWYG. It has a formatting toolbar where you can apply text formatting, like bold or bulleted lists, apply CSS styles, and also run a spell check, create links, and insert images. Before we dive in, let's look at a few important options. If you don't see the toolbar, make sure the text format dropdown is set to full HTML. If it's set to filtered HTML or plain text, the toolbar disappears. The body field is only a few lines tall. To show a larger editing window, click on the Maximize button to enlarge. Click on it again to return to the default. If you're experienced with HTML, you may wish to view the source code. This can help you troubleshoot formatting problems. The toolbar is grouped by function, separated by vertical lines. The first group is formatting tools, for example, and the second group is editing tools. We'll look at editing tools first. It's common to use keyboard shortcuts for these editing actions, such as Control-X and Control-V, but be aware they're on the toolbar for your use. Undo and Redo function as you would expect. Undo removes your last action. Redo puts it back. Cut, copy, and paste function the same as in a word processing program. Cut removes the text, but keeps it in the clipboard for you to paste if you wish. Copy keeps the original text in place and also puts a copy in the clipboard. Paste inserts the cut or copy text at the insertion point. When you bring in text from an outside source, such as a Word document or another web page, use the Paste Unformatted option. This usually eliminates stray code and inappropriate formatting. Let's start formatting with the built-in styles. You apply a style by putting the insertion point in the paragraph and selecting the appropriate style from the drop-down. Let's change this from Normal to Heading 2. Because the page title is Heading 1, the highest level heading you can use in the WYSIWYG is Heading 2. The body text is always Normal style. A subheading of Heading 2 would of course be Heading 3. It's important to apply heading styles according to the outline hierarchy of the content. Don't choose one based on how it looks. Address is used for, you guessed it, addresses. It helps them stand out. Formatted is available by default, but it's unlikely you'll use it. The monospaced font is typically used for indenting code or making cute kitties. You can format within the normal text as well. Drag over some text and click the B button to make it bold or the I button to make it italic. Superscript and subscript raise or lower a character, respectively. The Remove Format button removes bold, italic, superscript, and subscript. It does not remove CSS styles or bullets. You can make text a bulleted or numbered list. Select the lines and click the button. Click again to remove. Block quote is generally used for an actual quotation, like in a press release. Click it again to remove. Sometimes the styles don't look like much until you see them published on the page. Block quote is one of those. This section of the toolbar is for adding and removing links. Please watch part two of this video series for more information about links. In this area are insert tools. This inserts an image into the WYSIWYG. Please watch Part 3, Images and Videos, for more information. Insert Special Character allows you to use symbols that aren't on the standard keyboard. This tool inserts a table. Please watch Part 4, Tables, for more information. The Insert Video tool is all the way to the right. You can find more information about this in Part 3, Images and Videos. We already looked at the Source button, the CSS Styles drop-down, and the Expand button. Here you will also find a Spell Check tool. 
Normally, you would have spell-checked in the program where you created the text, such as Microsoft Word, but you have the ability to do it on the website as well.